with Charles Davis. As always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Ready for football now on a sunny Florida afternoon. And here we go. We're underway in Madden Ultimate Team. to speak of call it a one yard gain up to the 26 oh there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle but give him credit he tried barreling through anyway they're fortunate to get a yard out of that one the first carry now this is Johnson and he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34 and that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes, the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the hole doing the traffic. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling me, run it again. We are right there, about to break a big one. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. So opening drive, three straight runs, unable to pick up the first. I know the fans want to see first downs, but guess what? The coaches have reasons for what they're doing. Sometimes they've scripted it, and some of these runs, while they haven't been successful now, they may be successful later on. Mahomes throwing on fourth. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. And on the opening drive of the afternoon, the defense forces a turnover on downs. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense the next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. That one good for 13 at a Dolphin first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. Defensively, the tackle by Cam Chancellor. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. in the backfield he'll get the carry and he'll get this one down to about the 10 yard line coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first third and short yardage young and that's going to be incomplete the contact there enough to jar that ball free and it brings up fourth down my first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Here we go on fourth down. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he's short of the line to gain. The Dolphins can't convert on fourth down. And as a result, possession switches hands. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side, their defense came through, was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, partner. A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they'd say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge, and we didn't permit a score. That's how we roll. 
Well, I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so, but maybe because they held them, they might go for it again. The first down carry here for Johnson. And he's going to lose yardage here, back to his own 18. Drop for a loss there on a nice effort by Osa Adigizua. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Meanwhile, Mahomes throw taken in by Samuel. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. We're scoreless after one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. He lost two, and it brings up four. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. Looking for Gronkowski, and it's intercepted. And the Dolphins are going to take possession of the football. But just a lot going on there in the middle of the field, and this one winds up a turnover. Yeah, the runner crossing route here, and the idea of it is to get defenders confused about who to go with. But you throw it too early, sometimes it's your quarterback that gets confused in here. He throws it into coverage and gets it intercepted. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. And they'll keep leaning on the running game back to the ground. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. This will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down looming. Quick throw by Young, caught out wide. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. McPherson's kick is good. And the Dolphins will jump out to a 3-0 lead. So golden field position there is squandered as they can muster only a field goal. Yeah, you were gifted a first-to-goal situation, but I have to give credit to the defense. They were brought out in a really tough situation, so give them credit for holding them to three. That's a pretty nice accomplishment. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes, get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, the goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Mahomes' throw caught by his receiver, Hill. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around the match, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, 
You often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Nice third down conversion and even 20 yards. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. Now Mahomes on the bootleg. That's out to Hill, right side complete. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Mahomes looking to throw on third and two. He's got the Hall of Famer, Fred Belitnikov, complete. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. He's been the forgotten man in this first half, not a guy you want to forget. Not only his first catch, first time they've targeted him. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Not because at all. those are the types of plays that he provides. When he does come alive, when they do look his way, not only is it a big catch, it's a first down. Second down and three. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. Over the middle, he's got Belitnikov. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and 10. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. Good one, good one. He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Well, he'd been targeted quite a bit on this drive, and finally I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They set the double coverage on him. Made it very tough for him to get the ball. Mahomes to throw once more. And that's incomplete. Really good coverage all over the field. It took away his intended read and almost dared him to try for his guy out of the backfield. No surprise on that one. It doesn't connect. Tucker's kick is good. And that will tie us at 3-3. So that kick gives them their first points of the game, CD, and it comes on the third drive, but hopefully for them that's a spark that gets that offense going. Yeah, and I would say if you're the offensive play caller, as you look at your sheet, you're trying to find that part on there that unlocks bigger points. They've struggled with a few drives so far, finally got three out of it. How do you find the end zone? That's what he's searching for now. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Young to throw it. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. They've been playing sound fundamental defense thus far and able to keep this offense from creating a major dent on the scoreboard. Able to force the incompletion, but still waiting for that game-changing play. You feel like it's coming, the first sack, the first turnover. In a sense, they're playing old-school defense right now. The new-school defense is what you said, taking the ball away. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout.
Final play of the half, Young. He's going to throw one up for the end zone. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Quadre Diggs. And nothing comes in this last-ditch attempt at points as time will run out on this first half. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. Second half ready to roll. Two field goals, a combined output in half number one. Could be first touchdown wins. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. One thing that's great about watching him run, Charles, he doesn't hesitate. He got to the left side of his O-line and just went. So there's two ways to look at that. One, just absolutely unconcerned, just takes off and goes. But more the latter, I think, which is he has absolute confidence in the guys in front of him, the guys doing the blocking for him. He just takes it and goes with abandon. And he's going to be stopped at about the 37. 79 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Here's a give up the middle. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. Two things to watch. First is strength and being able to break out that initial contact. But at his size, once you slow his momentum, it's hard for him to get it started again and end up tackling him behind the line of scrimmage. Here's Steve Young. Got a man. It's Randy Moss complete. He's going to have the first down and more than that. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Randy Moss. 38 yards, and the Dolphins have moved out in front. Evan McPherson now for the PAT. And it is up. And it's good. That'll make our score 10 to 3 now. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And Hill will opt for the touchback. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. But Charles, you and I said in intermission, feels like we're set up for a good second half. Well, the other side scored, and now it's up to them to answer. How do they respond here with their first drive of the second half? Well, bottom line is they just saw the ball go in the end zone against their defense, and they saw what good offense looks like. They believe they've got a good offense as well. Run the best plays you've got to the top performers you have and try to move that ball down the field for an answering score. Gets this one to Hill, and he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher, third and six. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Looking for Gronkowski, out route, he's got him. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. That effective 10 yards there takes us back to first down. Mahomes going to throw. And again, he'll find Gronkowski complete. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large-bodied tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, 
they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Here's Mahomes to throw. Got a man, it's Freddy Belitnikov. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Charles, to move the chains that time, they had to complete it in a double coverage, and they got it done. And it's never easy overcoming multiple defenders, but he sure made it look simple. Found the right spot to exploit and won his one-on-two matchup. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Throwing now is Mahomes. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Eli Apple. And the Dolphins are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. And this defense, Charles, coming up with another interception. They have really done an excellent job of locking up these receivers. Yeah, they're really on fire. They are actually doing what they talk about all the time, which is plastering to receivers when they're in their zones. They didn't give up a touchdown in the first half. They haven't done so here in this half either. Blanket in the field going all the way back to the opening drive. And they come up with a pick right there. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 92 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards. Second down. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now. Just stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. Tight end knocks. And he will have a Dolphins 